This is the story of a man, once ostracized from power, who worked his way to the verge of emulating the greatest conqueror the world has ever known. So Lucas was born during the 350s BC into an aristocratic Macedonian family. Having served as a page in his teens to King Philip, he was appointed commander of the elite infantry, the Hippaspistae, during the conquests of Alexander the Great. Despite this promising start to his career, the other generals disregarded him in the division of power following Alexander's death. Seleucus, however, used the chaos following the regent Perdiccas' death to establish a power base in Babylon, modern-day Iraq. The other successors tried to remove him from power, but Seleucus resisted with victory at the Battle of Gaza. With his position in Babylon now secure, he expanded eastwards, recovering the territory subjugated by Alexander 15 years previously. He conquered as far as India, where he made peace with the local Mauryan kingdom. With a vast empire stretching across Central Asia, and now a king in his own right, Seleucus took revenge on his assailants, establishing a coalition to defeat the general Antigonus and his son Demetrius at the Battle of Ipsus, before annexing Syria and Eastern Asia Minor. After a series of inconclusive wars against Ptolemy, Seleucus was drawn into a conflict with the ruler of Western Asia Minor, Lysimachus. The two armies fought at the Battle of Curopedion, with Seleucus winning a decisive victory that left Lysimachus dead. Seleucus crossed the Hellespont to assert his control in Lysimachus' European possessions, including Macedon. This left Seleucus on the brink of equaling the achievements of Alexander, with only Egypt missing from the empire. However, at this great moment of triumph and his lifelong ambition in sight, Seleucus was assassinated by Caraunos, a son of Ptolemy. This was the story of Seleucus, once ostracized from power, who worked his way to the verge of emulating the greatest conqueror the world has ever known.